In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at an extended version of the Hello World application that builds upon the first Hello World K2 application design. Please be aware, I'm making the assumption that you have already reviewed the first Hello World demonstration or build videos as this demonstration will continue on where they left off. Based on that, since this is an extended version of the original Hello World application, I'll describe the application design in terms of what we changed at this point. For changes in the existing workflow, we edited the Respond To Greeting step to add another user to that step. We then configured the outcomes for this step so that both of the users will need to say hello to the greeting before the workflow continues down the say hello path, but if any one of the users selects ignore, the workflow will not wait for the other user's input to follow the ignore path. This is basically the same thing as requiring all assignees to approve an approval step in a workflow, or escape from that approval step if any one of the approvers rejects the task. We also added an escalation to the respond to greeting task to remind the users to complete the task if they have not done so yet. Finally, for the workflow, we modified it so that it uses a generated K2 smart form as the user interface for the task, instead of the standard SharePoint page. We didn't make any changes to the Hello World SharePoint list, which happens to be the data source for this application. For form-related updates, again, we replaced the default SharePoint forms with generated K2 smart forms, which allowed us to customize the layout and behavior of the user interfaces for this application by removing some unnecessary fields and editing some rules. We also added a tabbed view to the display form that shows a list view of all items in the Hello World list. This form will be the user interface for the user task assigned in the workflow. I'll open up the Hello World list from my SharePoint site where I just made the updates to the K2 application. Then create a new item. I'll go ahead and call the item version 2 demo 1 for this run through. And notice here that we're now using the customized K2 smart form for new items to capture information in this list. Upon saving the item back, you'll see a success message dialog box based on a show message rule that was configured into the form when the submit button is clicked. Having logged in as the administrator account, the pop-up message is showing a bit of personalization by including my login name here. Now with the record added to the list, I'm going to pause the video for five minutes to allow the reminder escalation that was added to the user task in the workflow to fire. Okay, the wait period is over. I should have received an escalation email prompting me to complete the task. And as you can see in my inbox, the message has appeared and it also includes some information about the specific list item in the body of the message that was configured to remind me to complete this task. Now I'll go back to the original email notice for the task assignment and I'll open the task form right from the link that's provided in that message. Remember, I could also bring up the task list on the landing page of the Hello World site to open it as well. With the form loaded up, Let's take a look at the Hello World List Items tab that was added to the display form. This form tab was edited to show the listing of all items that currently exist within the Hello World list, just in case you have a need to review them before making a decision. The point of this is to demonstrate that we can expose data on forms that help users make decisions from virtually any data source made available with the use of smart objects and views. We also configured the K2 action panel to appear at the bottom of the page. As part of the form design process, we have the ability to position the K2 action panel at the top or bottom of a page based on our requirements. I'll select Say Hello to complete this task and submit the form back to K2, which should also pop up a pre-configured message stating the task has been completed. And then I'll move on. I want to jump back to the Hello World list page and validate that K2 has not updated the list item with a response or reply date yet because the second participant, in my case Bob, has not completed his task. Okay, good. Nothing has changed here yet. Now I'll open up an instance of Bob's browser to the page with the K2 work list and open his assigned task. 
Because we removed the response and reply date fields from the display item form, notice that Bob only sees the title of the list item. He also has access to the Hello World list items tab here at the top. Now I'll submit this back to K2 with the Say Hello response as well, which should trigger the workflow to complete and update the list item with response and reply date values. Upon going back to the Hello World list, I'll refresh the page, and there you can see the list item was updated as the workflow completed the Say Hello path. The last thing I want to do is review the view flow report for this task. To do that, I'll open up the K2 Reports page for the Hello World list from the ribbon menu at the top of the page. To view this specific workflow instance, I'll select the Hello World workflow from the Instance Count graph here on the left. Then select the View Flow icon for the version 2 demo we just ran through in the Workflow Instances list on the right side of the page. Let's check out the decisions that were captured in the Respond To Greeting task for this instance by double-clicking on the User task. The Participants tab on the view that opens up from here shows the Say Hello decisions that were made by both assignees and when they made them. These new features just scratch the surface of what is possible in K2. When you're ready to learn how to perform these basic tasks, run through the Hello World Extended Build Guide and video. We have positioned these tutorials to help you move further down the road towards building applications for your organization.